breaking news, my wonderful people. Audio Zocalo speaks on the military plan for Niger. Says no Nigerian soldier deserves to die in another country. This is coming from the former Abia State Governor Oji Uzokalo. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. My country people, Oji Uzokalo, the former Abia State Governor, has opposed the move by the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, to use force to restore democracy in Niger. Politics Nigeria reports that the democratically elected president of Niger Republic, who is currently being detained, was ousted by a military coup d'etat on July 27th. Kalu, the senator representing Abia North Senatorial District, said in a statement on Thursday that Nigeria should not join ECOWAS' plan of military invasion. He said that Nigerian soldiers should not die in another country because of war. Kanu said Nigeria can support ECOWAS with finance but not with soldiers. He said that fighting a war with Niger was not necessary as no one was sure of the sponsors and how it would end. Kalu suggests that Nigeria, the United States and France could intervene in Niger by giving the coup leaders between one year and six months to hand over to a new government. Kalu handed, uh, added that if ECOWAS would cost Nigeria the peace it needs, then there was nothing wrong with pulling out of ECOWAS. He said Nigeria was a sovereign nation and the concerns of its people mattered the most. My country people. Well, Oju Zakalo has given his own thoughts and his own options concerning the Niger Republic. No one knows when this military juntas will, will eventually hand over power to a democratic government. We don't even know if democratic um, uh, governments will be practiced once more in Niger since the, the military has taken over. But then something has led to this coup, this coup d'etat in Niger Republic. I guess these military juntas, they were not pleased with what's going on in the country. And then they had to seize power for themselves. Although no one is actually... Um, you know, commending the coup d'etat in Niger Republic. But I guess at some point, they will have to come to a final resolution on how to solve this issue. Force is not everything. So many people have called on to Tinibu not to use force or military invasion. Force won't help anything. In fact, it would escalate things because it will bring about bloodshed there will be a lot of casualties and we don't want that at this point. We don't want that. Nigerians are still struggling to get on her feet. You know, after the elections, the thing has really um, crippled most, you know, aspects in our country. And people are just starting to get back on their feet. And the president is talking about, you know, plotting or waging war in Niger. I mean, someone that has his case and courts, his matter is still in the courts. And, uh, you know, it doesn't really add up because Tinibu should try as much as possible in as much as he wants to impress the other world leaders, you know, for them to get to see his potentials. But he should listen to the advice of people on you know, them saying that, no, nothing like shedding the innocent blood of our Nigerian soldiers. In fact, they shouldn't, you know, interfere in this issue. So, my country people, um, the Niger Republic is our backyard. And uh, people have said Nigeria should not join ECOWAS plan of military invasion. If the US, France and the UK want war in Niger, then they can as well send their own people. They can send their own people, but Nigeria can only support with finance, but not with our soldiers. No Nigerian soldier deserves to die in another country just because of war. No.
So fighting war in Niger Republic is not necessary as no one is sure of the sponsors and how it would end. So Nigeria, the US and France can intervene in Niger by giving them one year and six months to hand over to a new government if they are not really comfortable with uh, Mohamed Bazoum. They say, oh, the, the tenor for Mohamed Bazoum is over. His time is over. He should, you know, step down from power and another democratic, you know, leader should emerge. Well, that is up to them, for them to decide on what they want. But I know at some point, um, the ECOWAS will continue to press until a democratic leader is installed in Niger Republic. But for now, we are just watching how things are really, you know, going in Niger. I know at some point, Tinibu, the ECOWAS, they should try as much as possible, negotiate with these military juntas. If they said they are not comfortable with Mohamed Bazoum, then another civilian can come up as well, and then they would conduct an election, you know, anything can happen. But uh, since they said, well, Mohamed Bazoum is not what they want, they can as well come to a final resolution, a final peaceful resolution. You know, aside the use of force, force is not everything. Niger and Nigeria, they are like brothers and sisters, you know, they share the same boundary and all. And, you know, anything that affects Niger in terms of war affects Nigeria indirectly. And we don't want that kind of situation. Yes, Tinibu have given some sanctions. The ECOWAS has given some sanctions. But at some point, this issue needs to be resolved. They need to come to a final conclusion. You know, because the other countries, the U.S., other countries, they are just pressing, you know, the, the president, President Tinibu to take force, take action, take action. And when the Kasala don't bust, now nah, nah Nigeria go carry the matter for head. So my country people, this is coming from Oji Uzo Kalo. Now, if ECOWAS would cost Nigeria the peace it needs, then there is nothing wrong with pulling out of, of ECOWAS because Nigeria is a sovereign nation and and the concerns of its people matter the most. So guys, this is coming from Oji Uzo Kalo. Well, my country people, I'm dropping here what I have thought on this. 